Hello, this is Burak Surimjolo, computer engineering grad and full stack developer. So this is my first full stack experience. This was my also first graduation project that I did um, to complete my uh, degree. And this is the facilities section, the reviews section, and the appointment, the form that uh, lets us send a request to the backend and let us create an appointment. So uh, before we do that, um, I'm going to show you the login page. As you can see, this is slash users slash login. And also there is a register slash users slash register. These are for users. But there are also some hidden routes for doctors. Uh, if you type slash doctor slash login doc, this is a login page for doctors. Uh, the reason why I didn't put it on the nav bar, it's because I don't want users to see it uh, and to be able to navigate to it. I want it to be a secret. Only doctors know it, so they can type the URL and go to the page. So if you go to the page, this is uh, for doctors, and there's also the register doc page that lets, uh, lets the doctors register into the system. So um, I'm not going to do this whole, um, whole um, process because it takes time and it's just authentication. I mean, many projects online have authentication. It's nothing fancy. So I'm just going to go and log in as an a point, uh, as, a, as a patient. Yeah. So let's log in. So I logged in and immediately we can see my appointments and canceled appointments on the navbar. So when I go to my appointments, this is uh, an appointment that I created before recording this video. So I'm just going to go and create a new one. Um, let's select. Um, first off, uh, I need to check something because I want to create. Um, So, um, all right. So for pathology, it's Adam Sutter. Um, I'm gonna get like 26. Um, let's say, let's just say 11 a.m. Okay. So make appointment. As you can see, new appointment has been created. And cancel appointments. There are just one appointment that is cancelled before recording this video so I'm gonna go and log out um, yeah I logged out and now I'm gonna log in as doctor slash doctor slash login doc and my patient appointments here we see this appointment uh, I just created now 11 a.m for uh, September 26 so I can cancel it as an as a doctor or I can cancel it as a user so let's cancel it as a doctor okay now in the canceled appointments there are two canceled appointments this is uh, the before something that I created before recording and this is the advertisement I mean not uh, the appointment that I just canceled so I can delete it and it's gone but the user doesn't have that functionality so let's log in again as the user. And go to my appointments. It's gone. The Adam Sutter doctor was Adam Sutter. Now it's gone. So it's pretty much um, tells you that I know um, uh, doing CRUD applications, CRUD uh, functionality in Node.js. I know how to create routes, RESTful routes. I know um, a basic CSS rules. This was my first project, so it, it's kind of an amateur one. But uh, yeah, and I used uh, MongoDB. It shows that I am capable of uh, storing data in a database. And that's pretty much it. Um, not 
that good of a project, but it's just uh, a beginner project, really. I think it's still better than a to-do list. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching and have a good day.